One of the most off-putting things to beginning mathematics students is the question, why isn't one prime? It doesn't factor into smaller parts, so shouldn't that mean it's prime? Well, in order to understand why one is not prime, we need to zoom out a little bit and recognize that the integers really divide into three types of numbers, prime numbers, composite numbers, and then units. It just happens that in the integers, there are only two units, plus one and minus one. Now, if we zoom out a little bit and look at other rings that behave similar to the integers, we'll find more units. Like for instance, in the Gaussian integers, which is really just like a complex version of the integers, we have four units, negative one, one, i, and negative i. Then if we take the polynomial ring with rational coefficients, well, that also has a factorization rule like the integers. And it turns out that all constant polynomials, of course, except zero are units. And then if we look at something a little bit more obscure, like z with the addition of the square root of 3, we'll find that 2 plus root 3 times 2 minus root 3 equals 1, making them both units.